Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at absolute value equations. In particular, I want to look at the problem solve the absolute value of 2x minus 5 equals 7 for all values x. Now before we get started, let's take a look at this definition of absolute value. Let's look at a simple example before we tackle this algebraic example. So for instance, if we're looking at, let's say, the absolute value of positive 7. Using the definition, even though this problem is probably obvious, the absolute value of positive 7, this is an x value which is greater than or equal to 0. So the absolute value of positive 7, we're just going to rewrite, is equal to 7, the input into this absolute value function here. But now the second case, let's say we were looking at the absolute value of negative 7. Using this definition, which category does this fall into? Well, negative 7 is an x value that is less than 0. So the absolute value of negative 7 is going to be equal to negative negative 7. Keeping in mind when we have an input which is less than 0, the output is going to be the negation of the inner term. So we're going to negate negative 7 and we'll get also a positive 7. And the way, uh, a good way to understand the concept of absolute value, it's a distance function. So let's say right now the distance from you to your computer screen is I don't know, roughly 7 inches. The distance from you to your computer screen is 7 inches. The distance from the computer screen back to you, that's not going to be negative 7. Distance is always positive. And this is what absolute value will take care of. So now looking at this example here, let's go ahead and apply this definition to the problem here. We have two cases. The input 2x minus 5 could be greater than or equal to 0. So in case 1, we have 2x minus 5 equals 7. Keeping in mind, if the input is greater than or equal to 0, then the absolute value of that input is simply the input. Next, we're looking at absolute value of 2x minus 5. Let's say the input is less than 0. Then in this case, the output would be the negation of the input. So we would have negative 2x minus 5 is equal to positive 7. So now when we solve for these equations, this is where the basic algebra is going to come in. What we do is we add 5 to both sides for this first equation. And we have 2x is equal to positive 12. To solve for x now, we just have to divide by 2. And we have x equals a positive 6. So next, what do we need to do? We need to look at this case here. Well, how do we solve for x in this case? Let's look at this, ne uh, this negative sign as a negative 1. Now we can distribute. We have negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 5 is a positive 5. And this equals positive 7. So now to solve for x, same strategy as before. We'll subtract 5 from both sides. So now we have negative 2x equals 7 minus 5. So negative 2x equals a positive 2. Now the last step to solve for this value of x, we divide by negative 2. And we have that x is equal to negative 1. And these are two potential solutions. And the reason why I say potential is because it's always a good idea to substitute back into the absolute value equation that you started with. So let's look at the absolute value equals 7. And we're looking at 2 times x minus 5. But keep in mind, this time x, we want to evaluate for x equals 6. So we're going to substitute. And 2 times 6 is 12. So we have the absolute value of 12 minus 5 equals 7, which gives us absolute value of 7 equals 7. And as we saw before, the absolute value of 7 equals 7. So we could even just say 7 equals 7. And that tells us that this value of x checks off. Definitely a solution. So next we'll check x equals negative 1. So we're looking at 2 times x minus 5 equals positive 7. The absolute value of 2 times x minus 5 equals positive 7. And now we're evaluating this at negative 1. So we have 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Minus 5 equals 7. So now the absolute value of negative 2 minus 5, well this is the absolute value of negative 7 when we simplify. And what did we say before? Absolute value of negative 7, using the definition, told us that absolute value of negative 7 equals 7. So we have 7 equals 7. And this solution also checks. 
So x equals 6 and x equals negative 1 are the two solutions to the problem. The absolute value of 2x minus 5 equals 7. Okay, well this is going to conclude this problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.